Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will learn about the average if in Excel. That's it. If these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master business analytics skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various business analytics programs. Simply Learn offers various certifications and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like IIT Roorkee, Purdue, and CPAP. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a business analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a business analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interests. Now without further delay, let's get started with our one point agenda that is average ifs in Excel. So average if is basically an average function but with an if condition. Let's say if you have multiple departments in your industry or in your office and your HR asked you to find the average salary of all the employees who are present in a certain department, let's say development team, then you might have to create a new table with all the employees in the development team and then find out the average. But what if I say there is one such average formula which comes with a condition called if and using a combination of average and if you can find out that average number just within a few clicks. Yeah, that's exactly what we are going to do today. So for that, let's get back to Excel spreadsheet where we have the data set ready. So this is our employee data set. And here we have the same use case. We have a lot of people from a lot of designations or a lot of departments. Now let's try to find out the average salary of all the employees who are present in development team. So the formula is really simple equals to average if and range comma you want the value as to be present as department so the, we will be adding it in between double quotes so development closing it now the salary range select the salary column press enter there you go so the average value of or average salary of the employees present in development team is around 38,333 per annum or per month. If you're considering this in rupees, this could be per month. If you're considering this in terms of dollars, it can be per annum. And that's how you use average F in Excel. And with that, we have come to an end of the session on how to use average F function in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources like PPT or data set that is used in this session, please let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.